Greetings and welcome to another edition of the Jacksonville Buzz. I am your host, Adrienne Houghton. Joining me in the studio today is Nick Bennett from Nick Bennett Photography, mm. and he specializes in analog film. So we're going to find out all about that. Welcome, Nick. Thanks, Adrienne. Nice to be and, here. And um, so nice to have a fellow Brit. Uh, I know, yeah. Over here with We've me. got to take the old country back. Absolutely, so. absolutely. So tell me a little bit about analog film. So um, photography these days is, is you know, mostly digital, but of course when it started, um, it was all analog. Uh, it was chemicals and plates, and, and film photography really took off as the, um, the consumer medium. It was easy, it was relatively cheap, um, and film cameras uh, were the go-to for you know, nigh on 100 years yeah. um, in different formats. So it's, it's using uh, chemicals and, and physical film as opposed to a digital sensor. Mm. And, it, and you specialize <coughs> in portraits? Yep, portraits and fashion photography is where I really found my niche and what I really enjoy um, creating. And why is analog film so important for portraits? So portraits, are they're meant to capture the essence of a person, but they're also supposed to be flattering. And analog film is really good at that. Um, so for instance, with digital, uh, you've got these fantastic modern sensors, really high resolution, incredible sharp modern lenses, and you capture everything that's un unflattering about someone's face, or all, all of the <laughs> all of the imperfections. <laughs> and then you spend hours in, in post kind of editing and skin smoothing and, and fixing it. Um, with film, you don't have to. Film has this natural grain, which kind of smooths over things. Um, in fact, people are adding grain back to images now yeah. because they realize texture. it can make them look better, add some texture. Yeah. And the older lenses, um, are, they are imperfect themselves. Yeah. So they create this, they have better micro contrast, but they're slightly less sharp. And so the image is just so much easier to, to manipulate. And I don't really edit my portraits. And people say that's what they like about my photography is the fact that they can see themselves unedited um, without needing the, the photoshopping and the skin smoothing. Do you see yourself as an artist whose medium is photography? Yeah, I think that's really it. And it's funny because I have very little hand-eye coordination. I, I couldn't paint, I couldn't draw in school, and I find it really funny now that as an adult I've, I've fallen into this visual medium. And photography is an art that I, I really have come into. And really my portraiture is, is an art. That's what I've, I've come to think of it as. How yeah. long have you been doing it? So f uh, photography now for about seven years, film for about six, uh, and then portraiture really over the last two or three years since I've really come to Jacksonville. I met a nice group of people, started networking, and picked up a really uh, influential mentor who was a fashion photographer. And so my eye has developed into this mixture of, of uh, portraiture, kind of close-up headshot yeah. stuff, yeah. and then this, these larger uh, fashion type images. Golly, I mean, that's a, that's a tough business to get into. It really is. Um, and I'm still finding my way through it, to be honest. Um, but I'm enjoying it. And there's a lot of support in the community, actually. We're, we're a good group of people around here. We're lucky here in Jacksonville because um, I, I've been here since 2004. And believe me, then it was a little tired. Mm. There was no buzz. Now we've got a lot of artistic buzz yeah. um, throughout downtown as well as sort of the little pockets around Jacksonville. Yep. I've joined a couple of groups, yeah. um, uh, artisan co-ops and photography groups, and, and we really do help lift each other up yes. and help each other out. Yes. Uh, and I'm enjoying that. I think that's, that's nice because yeah. it's not something you find everywhere. Now you've got a, you've got a, a, a fun project that you're working on. Yeah, Tell me about so it. it's called 40 Over 40 on Film. Uh, my goal is to uh, recruit 40 women over the age of 40. So an age which traditionally I think society has said, you know, maybe they're not photogenic. Maybe they're. Uh, you <laughs> you're know, talking. You're talking to the wrong person, here, aren't you? <laughs> but, but no, I'm talking to the right person because it's it's a group of people I think who, um, you know, most of the, most of the women that I photograph are models in their 20s and 30s, yeah. and th there's a sense that maybe you, you you're not as photogenic. I think that's not fair and it's not true. Right. Um, and I think there's uh, something to be said about um, experience and life lessons. Mm -hmm. And what I want to celebrate is that greater sense of, of the feminine. So um, I'm recruiting 40 women, 40 because 40 over 40 is easier than 50 over 50. I can't 
photograph that it's many too people. Many. It's too many. Too <laughs> many. But at the same time, 30 over 30 didn't seem you know enough experience. So I'm celebrating the, ex the achievements, um, the uh, experiences of, of these women. They sit down for an interview, um, a bit like this, about right. half an hour long. It's a Q&A session. It's very personalized. Yeah. Um, it's what they have experienced, as well as um, questions in general about um, role models and I'm going like to have to. I'm going to have to. We're, we're going to have to wrap this up. But what yeah. I want you to do is when you've completed the project to come back. Yeah, my hope is to us, really share, share it and, and show the photographs and show the stories, get it in a Marvelous. book, get it in a gallery, something Thanks, like that. Thanks, Nick. Thank you so much for coming in. No worries. Thank nice you. To have and if you'd like to know any more information about Nick Bennett Photography or the 40 over 40, then you can find it on thedailynewsnetwork.com.